is Jackie Bong Wright, President of the Vietnamese American Voters Association and Vice President of the Vietnamese Human Rights Network. I will serve as your MC for the Vietnam Human Rights Award ceremony today. Uh, good afternoon. We are going to start uh, to salute the American and the Vietnamese flags. of the Vietnamese and Americans who have sacrificed their lives defending human rights and democracy in the world, especially those who fought valiantly in Iraq and Afghanistan. Please be seated. Thank you. And now I would like to invite Mr. Nguyen Ngoc Bích, President of the National Congress of Vietnamese Americans and also the co-organizer of this event, who will say a few words of welcome. Thank you. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of the organizing committee, let me greet you uh, to this uh, wonderful and comfortable room, not far from the uh, American Congress. The reason why uh, the Vietnam Human Rights Network organized this award this year 
in Washington, D.C. is because uh, that gave us a chance uh, to go and visit uh, with the uh, senatorial office and congressional office uh, so as to uh, try to bring to the attention of the American uh, Legislative Assembly about the rather bad, egregious situation of human rights in Vietnam. Um, <clears throat> because of that, we uh, are extremely grateful uh, that you are here to show your support for uh, that cause. And uh, during the course of the uh, uh, ceremony today, you will hear uh, from representatives of uh, uh, human rights, NGO, non-governmental uh, organizations, as well as from congressmen and congresswomen uh, who will be dropping in and out because, you know, the legislative day is a very, very busy day. They all have all sort of votes that they have to uh, uh, do. And, and so as they come, they will be introducing you, uh, them to you, and then uh, we'll have a chance to ask them to speak to the issues of uh, human rights in Vietnam. I think um, uh, if I go around the room trying to introduce everybody, it's going to be uh, quite a task and it'll take too much of my time. So if I may just introduce only a few uh, prominent person here uh, with the speakers leaving it to uh, later on. But uh, at this moment, I certainly would like to introduce to you the most venerable Thich Tham Tho. Coming <laughs> away from Lancaster, Pennsylvania. Um, <clears throat> uh, we uh, also have uh, Delegation, of course, coming from California because the uh, Vietnam Human Rights Network is headquartered in uh, Westminster, California. Uh, so may I ask Chang uh, and Tung, uh, the current president of the network, to please come. Uh, we have also a delegation because we try to uh, uh, persuade Senator Kenny, uh, Senator Kerry. Uh, to uh, support the Vietnam Human Rights Act. So we have a delegation from uh, Boston. Can I ask this delegation from Boston to please uh, stand up? Uh, who is uh, the vice president? Who is the uh, vice president of the uh, Lin Bing Dân Chủ in Vietnam, uh, as well as the uh, belonging to the Vietnam Human Rights Committee of Boston? Uh, we have uh, people from very, very far. In fact, we have uh, representatives of the Vietnam Human Rights Center in Paris, uh, Attorney Chen Thanh Hiệp. And uh, we also have even further. And then the city and then here we have also the scholar Do Tong Ming from Tokyo, Japan. <laughs> so we have really many, many people here who are prominent in our community. And because of the prominence, I think that we speak the amount of support that the Vietnamese human right has among the overseas Vietnamese community. At this uh, time, I'd like to turn the uh, mic to, over to Mr. Jackie Bond. Uh, thank you, Mr. Witt. Uh, at this time, as uh, you introduce the, uh, some groups coming here, uh, I would like to introduce the group Liên Minh Dân Chủ Thuần Tuy. Please stand up. would like to uh, invite Dr. Nguyen Ba Tung, President of the Vietnam Human Rights Network from California and also the co-organizer of this event. Please come.